everyone, Ellie Pop Dragon here. So if this may or may not be the video that you were expecting to see, but it is the reveal for which horse I bought when I tried horses and ponies to fit in my lesson program. I did make a video about it. The link will be in the description or in the icon above, and I would recommend watching it just because you will get to know the horses and ponies that I tried, and you may understand my decision a little bit more. I'm not completely sure, but I did end up buying one after a week of contemplating, comparing, contrasting, and let me just say, it was a really hard decision because every single equine that I tried had their own amazing qualities to be in my program. So I did make a decision and the horse has been here, or pony, horse or pony, I'm not gonna give anything away yet, but they've been here for about a week and a half. I've done some stuff with them like flat work, a little bit of jumping, and we have gone to Marley's Farms so where they've been off property only once. And we are going to take them to Golden Leaf to do some schooling over fences. Now, the horse that I bought is currently in the pasture, so I'm going to go grab them right now. And here is the reveal for which horse I tried. <laughs> I know that in the trying horses video, the comments were pretty on point about it. They really said Kit and Denver. I only got one horse and yes, I did get Denver. So for all of you that said Denver, great job. You guys guessed it. I don't know if it was obvious, um, but I am extremely happy with my decision. She has been so sweet. So anyways, I just loaded her up into the trailer and I did launch her up prior to this. So she was not fresh at all. And you guys will get to see some of the ride there. And then I did get to go into their more private stables to tack up, which is why it may look a little bit different. But honestly, it was really nice. Once I arrived, I took Denver out of the trailer and then I taxed her up and she was really, really good. And after that, I popped my helmet and gloves on. And then after that, we headed out to their absolutely ginormous arena to warm up. I started warming up by doing lots of walking and circles and a little bit of trotting here and there. We also did lots of change in direction. So I think it was a warm up that really stimulated her, which was very good.
Okay, so here I asked her to canter from the walk and we did get a couple steps of trot in, but overall it was a pretty good transition. In the canter, I just really worked on myself being able to sit and relax a little bit more because I do kind of have a tendency to stiffen if it's a bouncy canter like hers. Although once you get in the rhythm, it is a lot smoother. I also did some lead changes across the diagonal and we did change in direction as well. So as you can see, Denver is very, very forward and she has a lot of momentum in this lead. Now that's something that we're working on and I think we can overcome. So I was able to use this in a way to work on my form and half seat. And then as you can see, this lead change was absolutely amazing. She did super duper well. And we just did some relaxed cantering around the arena before I had some help setting up some jumps. So I let Denver walk it out and catch her breath. Then I had help setting up some warm up jumps and we just worked on trotting and cantering up to some cross rails, which she did super duper well at. And then we worked on straights and lines. After warming up, I really just took her around the arena to jump different jumps. I mean, we really just jumped around, I guess you could say. We just did a bunch of different jumps that were in the arena. We didn't have a specific course or anything like that, and it was a blast. <laughs> Okay, so with this jump, we did end up knocking it. So I put it back up and we went around again and it was really good. So yes, of course I make mistakes, everybody does. But if you get up and do it again, learn from your mistakes, it turns out a lot better. So once I decided Denver and I were done, I thought it would be nice to cool off on one of Golden Leaf's trails that they have around. This was a very short one, they have much longer ones, but I just needed a quick cool off. So it was really, really pleasant.
So after I dismounted, I untacked Denver and gave her a wash off, but this video is getting long, so I'm not going to put that part in. So then I just led her to the trailer and I was able to get some footage of her in the trailer and she just stood there like an angel. So yeah, that was the day schooling Denver over at Golden Leaf. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this video. I just put Denver out. You can see her in the background. And I am thrilled with my decision. A lot of you guessed correctly. Um, I don't know if it was easy to tell, but you know, a lot of you guys got it right. So congratulations. I am so grateful that Denver is here at my barn and I can't wait to see her potential and hopefully fulfill that. Now I am looking into other horses, so we'll hopefully be growing the barn, but I wanted to thank you guys because we have grown so much in the past, what, month or so? Last week, I was thanking you guys for 100 subscribers. Now I'm thanking you for over 300. The fact that we grew more than 200 subscribers in a week is completely insane to me. Plus. For the Trying Horses video, we have almost reached 10k views. That's insane. Like, how? I am so thankful for all of you. It means the world to me. And I just can't express how absolutely amazing this is. Thank you guys so much. It really does mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Live, laugh, love life. Bye!